All right, so we going down the block. what you got to deal with when you come to Michigan or any of those states that got a lot of snow. They really don't plow these back streets like I sing. So, you just got to drive careful. And the best thing is, is that when you have a garage, you ain't got to worry about scraping all that snow. So, So I already plowed out snot outside with my shovel, so I'm gonna pull up in the driveway. You know what? I never pull forward in my driveway. I'm gonna just back it back up and I'm gonna park this one out front and then pull my bends out real quick. So hang on with me. Can't really block the, the walkway because that'll be a ticket around here. So we're gonna park this one right here. Yeah, I think we can cut it off. All right, so we're gonna pull out the bins real quick. All right, home sweet home. There's home. Welcome home. So, as y'all can see, we go out riding around here. And the thing about it is that it's only, these bikes are only just me and my brother. This one is what you guys see up, up in the top bunk and those what we keep at home. Here's my Benz. This is what I custom sprayed, did the rims and everything. As you guys can see, it looks brand spanking new. Look at it. Spray the top black. Let me show you guys a close up on the rims. So all I did is just a basic detail. I mean, I sanded it down, sprayed the blue around it. I still need to um, scuff out some more of these chips. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it still needs like a good sand down. And I did the, the um, studs as well. I just need to redo it. I was gonna do the caliper um, blue as well. So that kind of stands out or maybe like a neon orange or something. So, and I took the hood out because I was gonna redo it. Yeah. So I was gonna redo this sand it over and then actually put it to a nice color as well um all black and then um putting the wrong key in the hole all black and then put the emblem on there wrong key again oh my I'm messing up here so what happened when you have too much cars all right, so she should just crank up with no problem. Um, I'm gonna change out the seats as well. I did the interior. Um, there we go, I'm not sure if you guys can see the dash. So all this is gonna um, be, all this is gonna be sprayed anyway. They all crank, no problem. 
I haven't cranked her in a while, that's why you can hear her like that. It's too much stuff to move out the way just to pull it out. But I need to pull it out anyway so um, it can um, actually... And it's actually warming up already. It's premium so it's going to burn pretty, pretty good but I just don't want it in here with all the fumes and everything so I got to put it outside to keep it warm. This ain't about trucking today, it's about um, just basically showing you guys a house and everything. So, And also here's like those wheelchairs as well that I'll be getting for the business. They're pretty handy um, if anybody is going to be moving around and all that stuff. It is cold out here but it ain't that cold. All you can just see is basic, my basic breath. I mean I got hot breath, that's what it is. It's nothing major to it. I'm gonna rest you guys down real quick. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Nice. That's some good stuff right there. But I'm gonna move this out. And these are actually the those um tarps that I lay on the ground and those tarps are, are basically from um when they put those giant paper rolls in in the truck oh my tire needs some air when they put the giant paper rolls inside the inside the truck uh gotta pump my brakes real quick make sure i still feel the same way because i had to bleed them the other day all right so just hang on i'm gonna actually move her out without hitting anything damn my neighbor just took off she's about 25 anyway Back it right here to so get away from the fence. Alright, right here should be good. So just two cars in. Let me put this over my head. I think she's turning around. She probably forgot something. Show you guys my neighbor. Ooh, she's fine too. I have a like one to my left over here and three to my right. They're pretty cool. Oh man, here's the keys. You guys ready to see her? Here we go. Morning, neighbor. Good morning. How are you? Good. I'm ready to work. We're getting stuff in and out, you know. Ah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Have a good one. Huh? Good Christmas? Yeah, sure did. It was my mom's birthday as well. Oh, really? Yeah. I will. No problem. Yeah, she's fine too. 25. Nice little white thing. It's that's all that's around here. That's all that's around here. Look at that little ass you got. Ooh. Let me behave, behave, don't need behave. You're on you're on YouTube. Oh shit, I'ma hear that, I'ma hear it. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Ooh girl, I'm on the way. Wait. She told me that she wanted that so you can make a play. I'm on the way. Alright, I'm gonna put this a little bit more back. 
And we're gonna leave them right here. So, that's basically it. So we could take our time. Well, like I say, uh, that's about it. Oh, let me do a walk around to the bins. I'm just let it sit out here. It's actually still snowing just a little bit. You guys probably can't see it. Why is it so bright? You see that bright ass white light? Jesus. Is that sun? All right, so. Oh, did the emblem. So this is that flat, well, that gloss black that I wanted to do it. I was planning on putting like the lights inside here and let it let it get bright. I'm gonna change this out as well. So there she is, looking brand new. And this is a 99 ML 320. It still has snow tires on there, brand new. Look at that, not even touch the road. Like I said, I barely drive it. Still got all those um, little sticker things on there. Those are all receipts that I gotta turn in. Other than that, see the back. Everything sprayed just as well down there. Like I said, I'm gonna change out the seats and I wanna do the, the roof as well. And really wasn't much picky about this right here. I mean, could go more into details with it. All I gotta do is just wet sand and buff it, but you can still see the, the gloss in there. But right for now, all it needs to be done is just some um, wet sand and buff. You guys can still see a little wave. You can't really make out the exact glossiness to it, but it just needs a wet sand and buff. Damn, this light. Just need a wet sand and buff. I'm not gonna show my, ah, too late now, huh? <laughs> Guys are gonna run my plates. Uh, there she is. I need to put some air in the tires. Actually, I need to put air in all the tires. So I'm gonna get my pressure gauge real quick, and then um, I don't have no no compressor um, in here yet. I didn't buy one. If I buy the compressor, or oh, trust me, I'll be wet sanding and buffing the hell out of this. Uh, oh man, is that cracking? I think it's cracking. So actually, you know, these part up here is that rubber seal. I actually um, sanded them down as well and then clear coat them. Well, I sprayed it gloss black just the same way I did down here. And then um, I, I hit it with the gloss black. And then clear it. So it actually has that nice sweet shine to it. So there she is. Uh, I know you guys probably like, pop the hood, man. Pop the hood. Where's the hood? Well, let's pop the hood. Oh, at the same time, I'll just put this back on. <sighs> what did I do with it down here? So this is where I'll probably generally doing my little um, little body shop stuff. I actually fixed her car before as well because um, she hit it in the front. And that's how we basically became friends as well. So, and I basically didn't even um, use any compressor or anything. I just um, used my, well, I did use my compressor. I just used my small 29 gallon. Sit easy. All right. Never, truck never broke down on me. Never. Uh, I got warranty, lifetime warranty on everything in, in here. I basically spent $3,000 um, with like minor stuff on here. I uh, changed out the, 